commercial stuff, go for it, man. There's, there's space to do it already. I had a gentleman come to me the other night and asked me if this was going to come to fruition. I guess he heard about it down the lane. Um, whisper down the lane, I guess. But uh, he said if this comes, to, and I have no reason to doubt this gentleman, but he, he mentioned a grocery store. He said if this would if this would come, I would think the next thing for somebody like me would be a grocery store. That was his comment. Now whether he meant that he was going to build one or he just put that out there, I don't know. I didn't I didn't get into it because we're still at this point. So why would we talk about the next step? But that subject came up. So eight eighteen years ago, my my previous employer we built a shopping center that we sold, we, we built a Gennardi store, which is now a giant store. And I feel like you might've done a little bit of bank work. We met, we met with Larry Gennardi and uh, Jack Clemens and, and asked them to come to Morgantown to put one of their smaller pilots in. Um, and we were trying to point them to, to where the, the casino is. And their comment was because Walmart Superstore was coming that there is there's not enough rooftops and they couldn't compete in that market because of the demographics of the area. So that was probably 17, 18 years ago, not quite 10 years ago. So, so the, the area hasn't really changed that much. I mean, during that time we did Penwood and, um, and, yeah, and Boston did. Before that, wasn't it? Yeah. 99. The beginning of Penwood. 99. Started at the same time that that. Well, I mean, it's changed hands. I mean, we just. I don't know how long ago Martin's been in business. It wasn't that long ago. Five years. Um, Martin's been in business. Said it's been a long time. It's been five, six years, I think. What? Probably five years. Five years. Because it was after I moved I moved here to Morgantown, like. Eight nine years ago, and it was for a couple of years. Yeah, it's more of there. It was Farmer Brown. Well, I just had oh yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Do you want to do want to see if there's any comments from from you? Yeah. You know, you... Yeah. For, first, uh, you guys, Steve thanks for uh, Kevin Hot twenty nine hundred sales. So I'm in high profile. So thanks guys for coming out here and and kind of continuing on with. What we talked about, I know I was kind of a, a dick last time, I apologize for that. <laughs> I, uh, I think I was, I didn't understand the process. I thought you guys were further ahead than where you guys really were. You know, I, I mean, that's my neighborhood, that's my development, so of course I'm very protective of it. Um, as a community member there, I'm absolutely 100% on board with residential. I'd absolutely rather see residential than an Amazon warehouse going there. I love the idea of having the open space, I really do. Um, I think you guys are right. There's a stigma with apartments, and that stigma, it's hard to get rid of. So it's good to hear that we're talking about, you know, $1,400 a month of rent. But I guess the question I would have is, let's say you can't sell all of those units at $1,400. What guarantees do we as residents have that that rent's not going to get dropped to 800 to fill all of those units? That would be the first time that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let's say it does. What what guarantees do we have that as we're going to be writing in some, somewhere that's going to say the rent can never drop below X? Well, it's not going to be rent control. I, I can tell you that either way. Because my biggest concern is protecting my community sure. and the integrity well, of the food we do that is His business is right there. We want to make sure that we're keeping that integrity intact first and foremost over anything. Well, we would do, obviously, you know, we would look at the, still do the market study mm -hmm. and see how many units we could build at a time. You know, if, if I can tell you in our, our previous developments, we have never seen the units filled as quickly as they have now. We're always ahead of schedule. Our target date for something like that would be, we would say about two years in order, to, in order to fill them, and we would build the first two buildings, you know, and, and see what the absorption is. And then obviously, if the absorption, you know, doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't meet the needs, we wouldn't build the other two buildings right away. We, we would wait. But dropping the rents is not an option because you have so much money invested anyway. 
So that, that's not an option. Okay. So you do it as the need provides? Well, yes, we, we would do that. You know, again, we'll do our market study right away right. To, to see how many units we can fill. I can tell you that the last one that we did, because we thought we, were, we did seven buildings, we were going to stop at five, but we never did. We continued building old buildings. And, and the, the, the pace was, was incredible. So, so what, let's say you get halfway through and the demand all of a sudden you realize isn't there. And you decide not to continue on with the rest of the apartments. Then what do you do? How do you pivot? Do you well, go to townhomes? Do you go to single families for the rest of that space? No, you wouldn't be able to change that because it's an approved plan. You'd be waiting. You, you, you just be waiting. Wait. Right, the demand just wait. Okay, okay. I mean, rents don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, just from my own experience with, you know, Properties. Rents don't really go down. I mean, they dropped to 800, you had more problems. You got more problems than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You see mass access out of high growth, too, I'm sure. Yeah, there's you know, big problems. Yeah, but those plans changed after the fact. Uh, the one behind Elmore, that development, I heard so many complaints about there was supposed to be a two car garage, and I forget all the things. And over the decades, things changed so they could build and sell homes there. Lesser standards. So what he's saying is a lot of those homes are already carried, but yeah, no, it's based on a two-car garage. But you yeah, get one car in it, and and right, so you can get one car in there and one in the driveway. So you have two spots. So if you end up having two.